الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا مع الصادقين As human beings we have good traits and good qualities good characteristics as well as some bad characteristics and there are some universally recognized and acceptable characteristics that everyone loves and one of those is honesty truthfulness being truth uh, full to uh, yourself and to others and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed that in our fitrah in our nature that as children you know when the children tell lies you can tell straight away you know something emo happens emotionally to them uh, someone emotion uh, some, some of their emotions are seem out of place and their body color changes and you can immediately tell that they're not telling the truth and then over the years, you know, we, we then overpower that nat natural emotional, um, e e emotional element uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, emotional asset that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really dislikes uh, um, lack of honesty, dislikes dishonesty, uh, and dislikes people telling lies. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran that Allah is with those who are truthful. And the Prophet ﷺ was actually given this attribute even before he declared his prophethood. The people of Makkah used to say, As-Sadiq, Al-Ameen, the one who is honest, the one who is truthful. You know, and, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Ya yuhalladheena amanu attaqullah wa kunu ma'as sadiqeen. O believers, be with those who are truthful. Uh, those who are, uh, are true to themselves and to true to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who are swadiqeen uh, before that Allah says ya oh believers be God conscious and then uh, you know attach yourself to those who are truthful now a man came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam and he said ya Rasulullah give me a piece of advice you know, just one thing, I can't, I, I don't, I find it very difficult to follow uh, so many things. Uh, there's, there's so many things to do, but I just want you to give me one piece of advice. If you follow that, I can be successful. Now the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam, being, you know, the, the, the one who had the, all the knowledge uh, uh, given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the one who was so, uh, so well known uh, for, uh, for being able to summarize uh, the, the, so much in, in so concise words the Prophet ﷺ said to him be honest don't, don't tell lies stop telling lies just this one piece of advice if you, if you just follow that you can, you, you can guarantee your own success and so man thought it's not that difficult this young man he thought it's not that difficult just one thing uh, I've, I've, I, can, I can move away from all the other teachings I, can, I just have to do one thing but then he realized afterwards that if actually if he doesn't pray and someone asks him, you know, have you prayed? And he has to say, you know, he has to tell the truth and he will, you know, he will be embarrassed. Similarly, if he commit any sins, you know, he will, he will not be able to commit this one sin, uh, i.e. telling lies. And as a result, he will be caught out very quickly. And because of this following one Commandment, one advice of the Prophet Sallallahu he gave up all the bad deeds. So can you imagine if we as young people just take on this one good deed that we will never tell a lie and we will always speak the truth, we will see you know, tremendous change in our lives. There will be emotional revolution spiritual revolution in our lives no we we don't we take it very lightly we tell lies all the time from young age you know when we are spending so much time on social media and the parents ask and we say oh no no actually i was talking to my friend then we we actually can develop friendships outside uh, and and we don't tell don't share that information with our parents as a result some of us then get you know um, get into wrong crowd or people there are people out there who are preying on young people on social media and they uh, they groom young people online line and uh, then uh, then in, in a marriage relationship there there's so much uh, lying going on between husband and wife and then you know at a community level people uh, actually tell lies all the time people don't follow uh, the truth and don't find the moral courage 
to, to tell the truth. And all of that then results in destruction of a family unit, you know, and, and lack of trust between human beings. And this is not something that we can be proud of. So one thing that we can take on from the advice of the Prophet ﷺ is to never tell a lie. And we will see so much change in our lives. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings about that spiritual revolution in our lives and helps us to always remain firm on the straight path. <laughs>